let's look at creating custom scales with a keyboard. I'm going to use the keyboard for one thing because it's really easy and for another I think it's going to make the clearest example. To create a custom scale in this situation all we need to do is take the gate output from our keyboard and plug it into the learn jack. Then we're going to need the pitch output from the keyboard and put that into pitch. So we're now hearing the offset that the keyboard's generating affect the, the pitch of the oscillator. Now, all I have to do is choose the slot I want to overwrite and the bank. So I'm going to use 12 tet and number 10. And to add a new scale, I'm just going to tap learn. It's going to turn red. I need to choose a root for my scale. So I'll just go with D. Now I'm going to add some intervals on top of that. Exit learn mode. There's my new custom scale. So you may have noticed that I added the, the interval at the top that completed the octave. So I started with D. I did F sharp, A, and then D again. Let me show you what happens if I didn't include D. I'm going to create a new scale. Exactly the same way, but I'm not going to add this D. So it's much more dissonant because my scale, my, inter my root and two intervals that I've defined are no longer completing an octave. So they're actually not octave based at all and I'm getting a repetition that, that moves across different notes just respecting the intervals. Sometimes you may want that, but if you're in 12 tet mode and you want octave repetition, then you need to make sure you actually complete an octave or more. Which brings us to the next important thing about octaves is that your intervals can span more than one octave. Let's create a new scale. I'll start down here, use A as my root, and I'm going to just do something simple like this and complete my scale two octaves above. Hopefully you can now hear that our scale does not include every possible note that I, I selected. It only respects the intervals. So the A's you're hearing are always two octaves apart, skipping octaves, because I didn't add the middle one. So that's the other important thing you need to know about octaves. Now, 12 tet mode, everything is quantized to semitones. If we go to oct mode, oct mode is going to enforce octave-based repetition, but it's not quantized. So let's create a new scale here. We'll do something like that, and then of course, I'm using a keyboard, so it's putting out semitones normally, but I can use the pitch bend to, to mess with that a bit. So let's do that, and I'll put the fifth in there as well. Now, I don't need to add this D to create an octave, because oct mode is going to do that for me. We're still repeating on octaves, but we've also got those unquantized intervals in there.
Just like in 12 tet, I can do intervals that are more than one octave in distance in total, and they will repeat, but they'll repeat still based on octaves, either one octave or two octaves or three octaves, etc. And that's the difference between 12 tet and oct. The free mode is the anything goes mode. There's no quantization and it doesn't try to add octaves. When you're using a keyboard, it doesn't necessarily make that big of a difference because if, if I'm in the free bank and I create a scale like that, I've put in very neatly distanced, uh, equal tempered intervals anyway. So that's what I'm getting. But if I was sampling from an LFO or some other sort of pitch source, then, well, anything goes. One last tip is if I want to restore any of these scales to the factory setting that came with the firmware, all I have to do is choose the bank and then choose the slot I want to restore and then hold down this button for four seconds. and it has restored what was there with the factory firmware. And that's how you create custom scales on the Ensemble Oscillator and how these three different banks behave.